Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's fair, Skyrim. Well, uh, in the last video, uh, we escaped the tomb of Bleak Falls, I think it was. Uh, let's see here. Map? Map? No? Oh, yeah, Bleak Falls Barrel. Anyway, um... Uh, I uh, listened to myself in uh, the last video shoot, and I noticed I might have sounded a little annoyed or bored. Uh, it's not dealing with the series or my general attitude to Skyrim. It's just I had to re-record those videos, and... Um, Anything I might have to repeat in the future, uh, due to technical error, I'll try to, uh, stay more upbeat. Uh, unless it's hours and hours of recording, then I might go a little crazy. Yeah, a little crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Making sure it's still recording. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of technical difficulties, um, I just had one again today. Uh, I recorded about uh, two minutes of uh, video before I realized I kept on the intro bit. Intro pick. I was a little upset. But, uh, yeah, uh, let's put the stopwatch on. Uh, anyway, let's bring this claw back to Lucin. Lucin? Lucian? Lucian? Shop owner in... Riverwood, and then we'll talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. Which we'll have to walk to, because, yeah, we can't fast travel there. Orkers. Eek! Looks a little scary. Fandolf thinks he can move Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Hmm. I smell a side quest. But we'll start that a little bit. Hi. Hmm. I might see. It, it just looks like I'm covered in a little bit more fur than I'd like, but oh well. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Okay, let's see if you're a little less grumpy. Oh, you have to tell Lucan at once. Hurry. Oh, Lucan. Okay, Lucan. Show those thieves not to steal from Lucan Valerius. Okay. Don't let my sister do anything foolish. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I can uh, keep her in line. Uh, she is a free woman after all. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Purse. So much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Okay. Please, guys, stop interrupting me. Anyway, to me it seems a little bigger than I remember. 
uh, when I put in that key, I thought it was a little smaller, but okay. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Hmm. I'll choose that to to take that as a compliment to myself and not an insult to everyone else. Okay, okay. Enough. Enough. I've heard enough from you. The guy does nothing but talk, 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 talk. Okay, definitely don't need these. Here, just take them. Uh, don't need this. You might be ripping me off, but I don't care. Uh, ways less, has more, so take this. Uh, 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 you know what, fine, just t take it, take it, I don't care. Ugh, that was painful. It, it, you know what? You, you, you've you taken enough. Uh, here, you can have nine. You could take someone's head off with this and you're only giving me nine. Uh, fine, fine. Here. Uh, you are a cheat. You are a scoundrel. And you don't hear me saying this to you at all, do you? Nope. Here, take an iron dragon in the gut. And take this, and this, uh, and this. Here, just, 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 just take it. May it like rot in your soul. And I'm going to keep that there. Um. Anyway, as I said, go rot in. Uh, Stop stealing everyone's money, huh? Okay. Till next time. Y y you're worse. You you're worse than that guy in Oblivion, who took things off of uh, very, very vulnerable people. But um, we, carry just about we don't speak about him. Uh, uh, th these guys don't listen to a thing I say. I'm out of here. Now, um, I don't know how long this is going to take, but it might up our smithing skill, which will give us a level. So I'm going to go do it right here. And now, um, I'm going to put it on camera because, uh, some of you might not know what to do and it might speed it up when you do it yourself. Whatever you need. I smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Okay, can you use your forge? No harm in it, if you have the skill. Thank you. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. Um the raw materials. You can use the forge to make something new. Okay. Uh what can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Okay. Uh, need any help around the forge? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Sure. Good day. Good day to you. You looking for a new blade? N no, I'm smithing thing. <sighs> Not bad. Reminds me when I first started smithing. I just feel slightly like I was insulted. Just slightly. Maybe unintentionally. I could forge you a warhammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. 
Well, that would be nice. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Okay. Good day. Wait a minute. I choose to believe that you are a child prodigy. And Whatever you need. You... Smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. These NPCs talk nonstop. And then they start repeating after the third line. Anyway, no, no, stop, stop, stop. Anyway, I choose to believe you were a child prodigy and made an excellent dagger your first try. Okay. That's the thing. Do I even have a... Oh, okay, I have an imperial sword. Borrow? Borrow? Nope. Steal. You look at need something? This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want good. to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Mm-hmm. 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 He sounds about as bored as I do most of the time. Okay, miscellaneous. Now he gave us some elk hide. Not does it matter? Now, oh, cave bear. That's where the leather's at. But I believe it actually sells for more than the leather you produce. Let's look on the off chance. Sixty. How much is the leather? 10. Yeah, you you could sell it for more, but uh oh well. Whatever you need. Okay. Steel is what you need. Leave that fancy elven stuff to the elves. I really wonder if he'd say the same thing if an elf were standing right next to him. Anyway, here's the leather you wanted. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Okay. I... Hide. Helmet. Now, if I was a betting man, I bet he'll make me use the workbench. You looking for a new blade? I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. Well, instead of talking about forging that hammer, make that hammer. Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Okay. I Hmm. Can't make it improve it too much, but that's until I up my crafting ability. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. I can forge it. Iron or steel is what you need. Leave that fancy elven stuff to the elves. Okay. You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Okay. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Okay. I'm I, I'm confused. Didn't he want help? Did... 
This is just the game pushing me to make stuff, isn't it? I see what you were doing, game. The finest weapons and armor. Alright, let's see if you actually have the finest stuff. Uh, hunting arrow of... a uh, hunting bow of dismay. Hmm. Okay. Steel battle axe. Ooh. I wonder if that's actually better. I think it might be. 28. 28. Does mine weigh less? 22. 21. Okay. Um. Thirty-two. All right. All right. Let's sell our weapons. All right. It. It. You can rip me off. Uh, not the other guy. There and here. There, you keep that. The apparel. Here, you take that, and I'll keep that in case I ever need it. There, just take that. I, I don't care at the moment. All right. I buy this. That it'll drop on the road. Uh Then he'll laugh. I'll cry. All right, fine. Until next time. Yep, next time. Hmm. Looking for a new blade? No! Alright. I think now is a good time to set out. For White Hound. Um, we'll see how far we get. Oh. We get to test this out. Ooh. Come on. Come to daddy. Boom. Come on. One more. I want to crush something. Oh. Ask and ye shall receive. Now, that just lets you know how good 
the axe it, the uh, hammer is compared to the axe. You just crush, 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 crush. Yeah, and this is why we definitely need horse. Unfortunately, um, stealing one is not really an option. And hiring one costs money. And they just die so easy. It's just easier to walk. Ooh, who are these guys? Bandits? No. Imperials? Imperial business. Be on your way. <laughs> Imperial business. Be on your way. If you know Imperial any business, true sons be on your daughters way. of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. This is none of your concern, citizen. Imperial business. <laughs> Citizen, Damn. what are you? Imperial. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, this is White Run, and we'll explore it more. In the next video. Anyway, this is Darkwater Gaming signing out. Bye bye.